Good morning, everyone. We're going to continue the story of Ruth this week. But first, I'll just go over some of the story so far, so in case you've missed it or you can't remember. There had been a famine in Judah, and a man called Emelemech and his wife Naomi left Bethlehem and settled in Moab. Some time later, Emelemech died, and Naomi became a widow. Her daughters married, but sadly their husbands died too. Now both Ruth and Naomi were widows. Naomi wanted her daughters to make new lives for themselves in Moab, but Ruth decided she wanted to remain with her mother-in-law and return to Bethlehem in Judah. Ruth was not an Israelite, but she told her mother-in-law that she wanted to follow the Israelites' God. Ruth and Naomi were now alone and needed someone to look after them. According to Jewish tradition, a kinsman redeemer is a male relative who was responsible for looking after a relative who was in trouble, danger or need. Now that probably is a new word for you, kinsman redeemer. But it is someone that belongs to your family and they have the responsibility to care for you. In Ruth chapter 3, we read how Ruth meets Boaz. Then Naomi, Ruth's mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, I must find a suitable home for you. That would be good for you. Now Boaz is our close relative. So then Naomi told Ruth to go and glean in the fields of Boaz, a wealthy relative. Boaz showed her kindness by letting her gather grain in his fields. Later, because Boaz had shown kindness to Ruth, Naomi tells Ruth to go and lie down at his feet when he has finished his meal and is sleeping. Now that also sounds a bit of a strange thing to do, but in those days this would show a sign of love and respect. When Boaz awoke and saw Ruth at his feet, he was surprised to see her. But Ruth was bold and she asked Boaz to look after her, that is, to be her kinsman redeemer. Boaz agrees to look after Ruth and later asks Ruth to be his wife. So both Ruth and Naomi were looked after. They had a home and food to eat. Boaz and Ruth would have a son who they named Obed. Obed became the grandfather of David, who is the forefather of Jesus. The story of Ruth is an important part of God's plan as Ruth becomes part of the lineage of Jesus Christ. The Bible is full of God's promises and if we read the Bible, we start to see the big story of God's plan for us. In the Old Testament, God promises to protect the Israelites. God said in Exodus chapter 20, verse 2, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Throughout the Old Testament, there are many references to God as rescuer and defender of the weak. In Daniel chapter 6, King Darius writes a letter to all nations when he finds out that Daniel is saved from the lion's den. He writes, God rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. And in the New Testament, it is Jesus who is our Redeemer. He has rescued us from the effects of sin and gives us the precious gift of eternal life. What can we learn from the book of Ruth? Firstly, Ruth had faith. Although she was young, she showed incredible faith. She believed in God. She had faith that God would provide her for her and for her mother-in-law. We learn that God loves all people. Ruth was a Moabite. 
She was not an Israelite. Others treated her as inferior, but God loved her just the same. God does not discriminate and he loves all people. And we learn that God cares. Ruth was poor. She was a widow and she was a long way from her home where she was born and raised. God, however, saw her as loved and important. He chose her as part, as part of his plan for bringing the world a redeemer. Remember, she would become the great mother, great grandmother of King David. God uses many situations as part of his great plans. In Ruth's life, she suffered the loss of her husband and father-in-law. She lived in a foreign country and feared she would be left without food and a home. But she continued to have faith in the Israelite God. God provided a redeemer, Boaz, who became her husband. God's plan for, was for Ruth to be part of the family which Jesus would one day be descended from. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the story of Boaz and Ruth. Thank you for all those who take care of us, our family, friends, teachers and church leaders. Help us to be people who care for others and share God's love and protection with everyone we meet. We pray for all those in need of care and protection, that they would feel safe with you. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed listening to the, to, uh, the story of Ruth today. And in the in the email that your mums and dads have received, you will find a really nice worksheet that you can do at home with lots of quizzes and uh, uh, ideas for things to do. So I hope you enjoy that too and see you another day.